Wait till the end. Tonight, somebody's not going to be undefeated. Never it's whistle. not going to be up. Let's go. We got a minute. Hold on, wait It's your all, though. Bring it in. Let's get your mind right! Yeah! Yeah! All right, let's go. You know how it goes. On September 27th, the 5-0 Fort Atkins and Blackhawks travel to Monona Grove to face the Silver Eagles for the sixth game of the 2013 season. The Silver Eagles shot out of the gate with this 87-yard run from Sawyer Livesey. After another successful point-after attempt from Drew Shukart, the score was 7-0 Silver Eagles. Monona Grove defense dominated the Blackhawks both in the air and on the ground. The next Silver Eagle touchdown came from quarterback Tyler Blang on a quarterback keeper to bring the score to 14 to nothing. In the second quarter, Tyler Blang drove into the end zone once again to make the score Monona Grove 21, Fort Atkinson 0. On the next drive, Tyler Blang hooked up with wide receiver Trey Powers on a long bomb to make the score Monona Grove 28, Fort Atkinson 0. In the opening of the second half, Fort Atkinson's offense battled its way down the field and finally got into the end zone to close within 21 points. But three minutes later, Brock Offerdahl lumbered into the end zone to put the Silver Eagles back up by 27. After Drew Shukart kicked the extra point, the final score was Monona Grove 35, Fort Atkinson 7. Next week, Monona Grove travels to Stoughton to face the Vikings. Congratulations, Mike. Yeah. Um, yeah, boy, uh, of course, you always expect to do well, but against the undefeated Ford team to beat them 35 to 7, they probably weren't expecting that. No, absolutely not. They're a great football team, and, you know, they had some, you know, they didn't start the game the way they wanted to. They had some drop balls, and, and that's a killer. I mean, we got off and did some great things offensively, and I think we put the pressure on them by, you know, going up 28 nothing. But like a great football team, as soon as they got the ball to start the third quarter, they just rammed it right down our throats and scored. But like a great football team we are, we came back and, and, and came back and scored on the next series. So I, I'm really proud of these guys, but I really believe that our ceiling is a little bit higher. So I want our kids to keep working hard and reaching and uh, you know, knowing that we can do better. Um, and, 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 and you know, let's go to Stoughton right now. Stoughton is a great football team. They're big and they're strong. They gave Ford a tough game. They should have beat Edgewood. They had Edgewood beat, no question about it. Everyone saw that game. So if we think that we're gonna have to go over there and they're gonna lay down for us, we got, they got, we got another thing coming. So we gotta bring our A game and away we go. How big is that play? First play of the game to Sawyer there, he goes, he goes a distance and just for four, it must be demoralizing as a team on their side to, to be well, down like yeah, that. Yeah, because they put us, you know, we, we were on our own 10 yard line on the kickoff and you know, we're backed up and we kept thinking field position was gonna be a huge deal in this game, you know, and just, we don't want them going only 50 yards. We want them having to go 80 yards against us. And, you know, that's a big, big play. And Jaden had a great block on 61. And and uh, we were just able to, uh, you know, Sawyer's speed, uh, uh, just a great play. Went 90, I think it was 90 yards uh, right away. So very, very, uh, very happy about that. So um, big, yeah. it was a big point. Yeah, yeah, because you don't use them much on offense. So right. I'm up there. But, um, yeah, they said Stone next week, and I know here a year ago they played you guys pretty tough. It wasn't oh, for a, a tremendous game from James Conner that we'll all remember. Right. You know, kind of a different story. So now you go there, and you see they're physical and play a good fourth, fourth year defense. So. That's what it is, and they're going to be uh, they'll be in blue zone coverage, so they don't give up too many big plays over the top. So uh, you know we got to be physical. Um, we want to 
do what we want to do, we've got to be able to have a great week of practice and be ready to compete. All right. Thanks, Mike. Thank you very Appreciate much. <laughs> Thanks, guys.